This playthrough is rated M for Mature. It's time to get the gang back together. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we went up the Blue Castle and found the demon that was causing Keith a lot of trouble. And it was Yuri. Apparently, the seraphic radiance almost destroyed his soul. But with the help of the party and Alice specifically taking on his burden, he was able to fight his own, uh, his own self, his hatred or weakness or whatever you want to call it. And now he's back together. But what does that mean for Alice? Let's find out. Alice, are you all right? Hey, the kid's with you. Well, did he go anywhere? Or Alice go anywhere? Or I guess. What in the world happened? <laughs> I can see why Zhu Jin would be on the uh, you know offensive just because of what Yuri did earlier. <laughs> How you been all this time, Pops? But Yuri, is that really the honest to goodness Yuri? Yes, Zhu Jin, it really is Yuri. Now, why are you taking that tone with me? You know, I never was honest to goodness to begin with. Your old adept at nothing, adept. So it really is you, kid. I'm not just seeing things. <laughs> you gigantic knucklehead, you. Ha, ah, come on. Don't go crying on me now, pops. Now, come on. Stop it. You'll dry yourself out if you cry like that. Aw, oh, stuff it. Don't you know I've been worried sick over what kind of trouble you might be in? That's why I came looking for you, you ungrateful son of a bitch. <laughs> well, sometimes the game won't say damn, but they'll say that. Anyway, it just chokes me up. Can I help it if the, the tears come easy in my old age? Not very stoic, are you? <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm as chipper as a graveyard butterfly. There's nothing to worry about anymore. You can retire from all this, Pops. Leave the rest to us. Aren't you funny? I have no intention of retiring as long as I live. And who'd want a boogie booger picking kid like you to look after them anyway? Ew. Yeah, I was never a fan of that. Even as a kid, I didn't like the idea of people eating their boogers. <laughs> Makes me sick to this day. My goodness, it's hard to know whether these two are bosom buddies or sworn enemies. Which is it? The internet would probably have you say otherwise. Oh, I guess you could say both. You're from this castle, right? I'm sorry it caused you so much trouble. <laughs> not at all. Besides, it was your intense burst of energy which finally roused me from my sleep. And with the world changed so much in the two empty years I was asleep, I think I'm in a traveling mood. Which reminds me, you all seem to be on the, some kind of special journey yourselves. Well, kind of. You did what I asked you to do, so I guess you're finished here, but you have piqued my interest. If you don't mind, can I join you in your travels? I promise not to get in the way. You don't need, like, your coffin or dirt from your coffin or anything like that. We appreciate your interest, but the enemies we are fighting are no ordinary monsters. You can't possibly guarantee your safety. He's a vampire. Listen, you'll have a lot more fun if you travel with that widow and her daughter from the village. Oh, no, I certainly don't expect any guarantees. I'm just insufferably tired of all the empty hours. I just want to be freed from this endless tedium and nothing to do. So you join the party for selfish reasons. Well, I've heard worse reasons to be a group in a JRPG. In that case, why don't you just, er, the key. Uh, welcome aboard, Keith. Yeah, things are getting livelier on our European troubles too. Livelier with a vampire? So where are we headed? Let's head back to Prague. Zhuzhi and Margaret might be there by now. Oh yeah, Margaret was a thing. Good idea. We can plan our next move when we get there. Yeah, this is getting exciting again. Come on, then. No sense in letting the grass grow under our feet. Alright, time to head back to Prague, I guess. Wow, the old man's really calmed down since I've been gone. He's he's happy. He kept me going for the last six months. Oh, yeah, for, I keep forgetting it's been six months since the end of the last game. Oh, I almost forgot. This is for you. I found it in a Kuhai Tower. You received a brightly polished talisman from Alice. Dot, dot, dot. Let's go. Um, yeah. Wait, did, did you all see that, folks? No! So let the party member to participate in the battles. Uh, I mean, whoever. Uh, we do actually want Alice for a bit, because I want to uh, get her some levels. Um, yeah, we'll put, we'll put Keith in. What's wrong? Look, it was red, but now it really is a blue castle. Oh, yeah. 
Farewell, dear castle. Farewell, my ancestors. Do not begrudge me a little bit of time to travel. And if I don't return, may you vanish again into the mist of time until a new master arrives. Mist of time kind of reminds me of a... What is it? That Scottish town that uh, disappears every so many years. And, and, you know, story. But anyway, yeah, you know that flashing image? Well, that's an item we want to get. And we have to go all the way back up the tower. Actually, it's not that bad. But you do have to go all, all out of your way to get back there. So, but yeah, we got Yuri back on the team again. He's at level 28, and yeah, all of his equipment has been taken out. But yeah, he's a higher level than everyone else. What the heck, man? It's because I didn't grind my levels for everyone, so Yuri's actually better uh, than everyone else at this point. So anyway, we got Brass Knuckles uh, from the last battle. The dream of any rough and, uh, rough and tumble brawler. They are made of hand-forged brass and can raise the user's punching power uh, enormously. So let's equip that. And yeah, I don't have any armor, we'll, but we'll wait till we get to the next section to buy new equipment. Let's go ahead and put back on the uh, mind's eye so we can get our power back up to maximum. We'll go ahead and put on the pedometer since we're going to be running through the castle again. And yeah, we'll do the flare brooch. brooch. So what I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to go back up to the tower and grab the item and I'll be back when we actually grab the item. So I'll see you all in a second. All right, we made it back to the top here, all the way up the tower to get, to get, the Dark Gravestone. Now, there's probably a reason, like, why would I go up there just for this item? It's just a valuable, right? Well, it's a very important valuable, um, as we can see here. Strangely glowing stones. It seems to have the same evil spirit as the one in the graveyards. Now, this is what's called the... I don't know the exact term for it, but basically... Well, let me show you the uh, graveyard-specific thing here. So, we can now reach, now that Yuri's had his epiphany and all that, we can now reach level 2 with all this. If you, In the Asia campaign, if you'd gotten enough points to get to level 2, you wouldn't have been able to actually do anything with it. But now that we've he's reached his next step, we now are able to unlock the second level. However, if we max out second level um, to third level, we'll actually be restricted from going further. However, now that we've got the Dark Greystone, whenever I max out level 2 Dark, I can get... The second form and then we'll be able to access the third form we'll have a scene with the graveyard here pretty soon to explain some of that but uh um we've also got malice back as well and you're probably thinking to yourself well now that you've beaten the uh, fox base does he appear again in red malice no it's actually something completely different um i don't know if i want to show off till i'm ready to show it off just because of how dangerous it could be at this early in the game we will eventually show it off but there will be new monsters now with the malice to make up for our level differences also, uh, I forgot to go over the library after the last episode, what we've ran across. So, um, yeah, we got the Dead Knight from last episode. Ghost of a Hell Knight who hasn't realized his own death. Another theory is that his body was sucked out by an evil master who believes everyone around him is an enemy. Perhaps a vampire. Got the Hollow. Uh, I think I went over the Hollow because I think the... Uh, yeah, I think I went over him. So, yeah, the only new character was the Dead Knight. Also, last episode, I ended up getting a headgear, and I forgot to show off what that was. That's actually a new um, defensive item you can equip. Uh, protective headgear worn by the Cavalry Division uh, outrooting evil. Strong defense against blows and other physical attacks. Raises defense power. I also got a level 4 um, uh, Alice, too. I want to try and get her some more levels, but we probably won't be able to make enough levels to get the new skill I want. Oh, well, it's not required for this uh, section up ahead, but it makes certain areas a little bit, or certain things a little bit easier. But anyway, I'm going to go on, on the way, all the way back down uh, the tower. So I'll see you in our next destination, which will be out uh, on the map location. So see you then. All right, we're back from the castle. Gained, uh, I think, um, yeah, Keith uh, and Yuri and Alice gained a level. But unfortunately, I didn't gain enough levels to get her to her next level, or th another level to get her uh, her next ability, but it's fine. We don't need it for this next section. You can go back to Bitsorts if you want to, but there's nothing new there. So let's go back to Prague and see what awaits us. Aha, welcome home. I'm glad to see you're back safe. Yeah, there's the exit from the fire before, so. But anyway, yeah, we're back in Prague and that's where we need to go. We need to go actually go back to, into the bar itself, so. There's the sleeping man there. Yeah, it's just a, uh, and he's just the same lottery member from before, so don't have to worry about it. So, I'm seeing if there's any new dialogue between the people. Good evening. How are things going, Biz, uh, biz Shritz? I was pretty worried about you. Yeah, well, I'm glad uh, some random NPC was worried about us. I guess we were friends with them. I don't know. 
Silent Peddler's here. I don't think he has any... Oops. No, I didn't want to do anything with that right now. I could look over my... Let's see. And yeah. Oh, yeah. We could reform the fire. I think I'm fine with who I've got currently. So, how's our services like? Eh, getting not too bad. Now we can buy Moon Swallows. But, um, yeah, I'm saving it for the top bit. I guess you don't have to if you if there's a certain character you're not using, but uh, I'll go over that whenever we get that. But uh, we'll find out a way here pretty soon to make sure we can improve our um, our predominant thing because you think that'd take forever other than just walking around for hours, you know. I mean, I could do that, but yeah, you know, that's kind of boring to do. It, so uh, can we ever go back to the peace and quiet of the good old days? How do you say? Oh boy, oh boy, things are getting all rankus again, or raucous again. Oh, so your Alice is. I'm glad she found you. You shouldn't worry your girlfriend like that. Is that my girlfriend? You're back. Oh, you brought another friend. Now you have two handsome men in your group. Ah, Zhuzhen quite, ha quite handsome, don't you think? Well, I'd better get back to work. Maybe make a fun of uh, Yuri or something like that. Man, we can buy uh, um, uh, some uh, equipment for Yuri, but we're about to go into a new area, so we don't have to worry about that right this second. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's really anything to buy for me right now. Did I forget to put Dallas's uh, Bolero? Yeah, I forgot to do that between episodes two. A silk Bolero, Bolero for the rich, active young lady, made of the finest silk that has undergone a mystical prowess, changes colors depending on how the light hits it. So, yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. Man, my, my brain, man. Hey there, Alice, looks like your company has grown. I have a message for you from Margaret. Message? Uh huh. I thought she would just wait here until you two got back, but she rushed off in a big hurry. She said she wanted you to meet her in Rowan, north of Paris. Rowan? Or. Uh, Ruin? Well, what's the matter? Why the sudden outburst? Ruin is the place where my father fought bacon and died. Is that right? Well, why did Margaret do that? It's been quite a while since she went off on her own in an attempt to track down Bacon. Well, aren't we all find it, trying to find Bacon in our own way? Maybe this means she's finally got some leads. I see, so he's been hard at work. He's been hard at work even after I got... Oh, I'm talking about Bacon. I thought he was talking about Margaret for a second. I was like, um... I see, so he's been hard at work even after I got swallowed up by the beast in Shanghai. I'm sure Bacon is somewhere in Europe, either England or Ru Ruin. Uh, Margaret is looking for him, but to no avail. Considering how he taunted us to come after him, he must have some trick even more sinister than the day was up his sleeve. We've got to find him. We haven't heard a peep out of him for six whole months now. I mean, it's not like he's going to announce it to the world or anything like that. Hey, you want some glum? You're back safe. Let's celebrate. Let's party. Who are you, random lady? W whoa you're drunk. Me drunk? No way. You're not... You know, swinging all over the place, so... Good grief. That was odd. That was kind of random, actually. Hmm, Roger Bacon, huh? Do you... Do I understand correctly that another member of our party is waiting for you in France? Yes. Hey, friend, uh... <laughs> uh, where's this France place, anyway? Is it far? Oh, yeah, Yuri's, uh... I think he's supposed to be, like, half Russian, half Japanese, so he's not from Europe, so... And he just kind of flew here all of a sudden, so he's probably, like, completely oblivious. From here, it's, uh, well, let's see, well, um, oh, west and north, right? Come on, Pops, you either know or you don't. Oh, uh, of course I do. What do you think I did on the long boat trip from China? I stayed up real good. That's what I did. So anyway, let's see. <laughs> Come on, Pops, you're a regular country bumpkin. Oh, shut up. Takes one to know one. I guess they are both kind of countryside folk. I think it takes less than a month to get there. I'm sure we can catch a carriage somewhere along the way. Yeah, no cars for them. Oh, yeah, so what are we waiting for? You're right. What do you say, Alice? Yes. In that case, we'd better get a solid meal in our bellies before we set out. Let's say, whatever happened to Yuria? Uh, she hasn't come out of the bathroom for ages. She's probably out cold. You saw how drunk she was. I'll go take a look. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what... Oh, yeah, it's the women's bathroom. Of course, she'll take a look. 
I was wondering if there's new different dialogue if you have Alice in the budget by yourself, but yeah, Alice is still technically like main character, at least for a hot minute, so. It's been 200 years since I last saw France. I wonder what it's like now. I don't know. What is it, Alice? <laughs> I can go with you. Eh, still pervy like always. Or at least just messing with people. I think these guys are the same thing. Yeah. Sorry, Alice, I don't know why, but Yuri's been going on these strange drinking binges lately. Could you go see if she hasn't fallen asleep in the ladies' room? With the kid back and a new member tonight, too, tonight's wine is mighty, is mighty tasty. Yes, sir. Alright, let's get, let's get this business out of the way. Hello, Yuri. No, oh, she must be in the toilets. Hello. Yuri, are you in there? I do you have to walk inside? I mean, clearly obvious. Yuri, are you okay? Must be a really deep bathroom or something like that. This is so strange. Where'd she go? I guess nowhere. There's nothing wrong with this mirror. Why'd you look at it then? What the? Uh oh. Hmm. Well, that was weird. Maybe we should. Let's try again. Perhaps we missed something. No, not again. Not nothing there. So that's kind of weird that we have to try again. It's like, Al like, did Alice not search right the first time? Not here either. What's going on? Yeah, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Like, shouldn't we have found this lady by now? What the? Yeah, exactly, Alice. What the? I forgot she said that. <laughs> yeah, it's an old broad. Gross! Who? It's gone. What was that? Was that an illusion? Well, I don't know. Nah, it's probably nothing. Are you guys okay? Huh, not saying anything. So we have to go back in? Weird. Alright, we'll check the doors again. I know you're in here. Come out. Well, not that one. This one? Your tricks won't work on me. Uh, they seem to be working. We have to check these multiple times before... What the? It's like a Scooby-Doo episode. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, we turned into the old lady. No! Not cute old Alice is old broad. That's the worst crime. That's not me. <laughs> That's that woman from earlier that, that attacked that one guy. You're the one who killed Terry. Yeah, so much for King of Fighters, huh? Hee hee hee, that's right. That was the mayor's request. What a beautiful young woman you are. It makes me feel good just assuming your form. If your body were to become mine, hee hee hee. Well, your body's not going to become mine because you're an old broad. Ugh. For boss time against uh, Olga herself. She's got 680 HP, 155 MP. She's dark class. She drops the monkey earrings, got 15,000 experience and 13,000 cash. Now, there's one spell that makes this fight a lot easier, um, but I do not have that, so we'll just have to go with a uh, uh, blessed magic uh, on her. So, And luckily, Alice can actually handle her for the most part. I mean, because she's got attack magic because she is her opposite in elements, and she's got cure, which is really cheap. So... Yeah, so it only takes so many blessed attacks to take her down, so. Yeah, it's like a battle of magic. All in the women's bathroom. Talk about a cat fight, am I right? I mean, you could physically attack her, but, you know, I don't know why you'd do that. That's silly. Be I mean, it'd be funny having her beat beat her up on her with her book, you know. Yeah, only a couple more rounds, so we should be good. And luckily, Alice is a, uh, you know, got decent spirits, so she doesn't take a ton of damage from spirit attacks. If I equipped her with that, with those one earrings that improves her damage, you know, obviously she'd take more damage from special attacks, so that's why I didn't equip it on her, so. Yeah, I should have, uh, let's see. I'm trying to calculate the damage. Yeah, probably two more turns. Yeah, she caught us on fire. 
Yeah, we could go again. Like I said, the magic isn't doing much damage. As far as I'm aware of, I don't think she has a physical attack. I think she'll always cast magic on us. Or spirit magic, or whatever you want to call it. There's one ability she hasn't done, though. I wonder if she'll do it before. Nope. She has an ability where she can steal your MP, but I guess she's not going to do that, so... Probably should go ahead and heal, just in case something happens. I mean, I don't think I don't think any of her spells would do any extra more damage to, to uh, Alice, but I didn't want to... Oh, there it is. There's the MP attack. Look at that, man. Took all my magic. Or at least most of it, anyway. Yeah, she took all my magic, so... Yeah, I probably should have just attacked her with magic. We probably would have finished her off, so... Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can actually physically finish her off. Oops. Nah. Nope. I didn't think so. Alright, I have to, uh, I have to use a pure root on me. I should have just MP'd, because I think one more spell would have finished her off, so. Oh, well. Alright, let's get a pure leaf on me, so I don't go biz Even though I have that item, like I said, I'd rather not worry about it. Yeah, I should have just cast Magic Expansion off because she was like right there on the on the cusp of uh, death. That'd be funny if she cast Mind Assault again. Okay, good. Oh, at least I'm showing off all the uh, elemental attack spells. Yeah, Nova's. Uh, Nova's. We could. We could. Those uh, Grave Knights, I think, also cast uh, uh, Nova, but I never showed it off. So. This should be the final attack. Yeah, see. Oh well. Anyway, yeah, gained a level. That'd be fun. Yep. If we finally learned the ability I was talking about, Gospel, it raises your magic defense. Uh, anyway, yeah. I'm good. Oh well. Or spirit defense, whatever. Not bad. I knew you're a first-rate exorcist. I'll let you go for now. I'll be more careful next time. You were under my spell the moment you entered the bathroom. Aren't aren't everyone under a spell when they go into the bathroom? What's wrong, Alice? You. Hmm, you're back from the spirit's graveyard, eh? I'm sure you'll make Lord Bacon proud. I'm Arcane Olga. Remember my name. I'll be seeing you again. <laughs> If you haven't already guessed, Olga's go is basically the European campaign's version of Woogie, or Woogie, whatever. Uh, so she's going to be bugging us for quite a while, so. Oh, well. Arcane Olga, a new enemy? So that's what happened to you. What a relief that you came out of it unscathed. Yeah, sure. But you have to give the guy credit for he how he set his trap without anyone knowing. On top of that, we now know she's connected to Bacon somehow. Didn't... Wait... But he just said he or... Ah, eh, whatever. Probably translation. Confusion. <laughs> the plot thickens once again. Now I'm really looking forward to France. I think you're the only person to say that. No, I'm just kidding. Da, da, da. Anyway, going to change our group again. Uh, yeah, we'll leave Zhuzhen in just because he's a little behind on experience. Oh, yeah, I guess I could show off a uh, gospel that uh, Alice got. Gospel raises target physical and spiritual defense power, so it it would have helped her during that fight, but not uh, not required. And then if we go into the bathroom, there it is. We received a lottery ticket. All right. And I think we're done with Prague. I don't think we really have to come back here for months to the bathroom. Just when I finally thought we'd have some peace and quiet again. Oh my! Did I pass out in the bathroom? I can't remember anything. Yep, sure did. Now things have been slow. Oops. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what you do in life. Man, you guys are depressing. All right, anyway, let's head on to uh, the next area. So, let's, uh... yeah, you know what? I'll just use a item, even though I don't really need to. Okay, let's head out now of here. 
And on to the next uh, hub area of the game. Ruin, or... Uh, Ruin? I don't know. I think it's probably supposed to be pronounced Rowan. It's been forever since I've studied French, so... I think it is Rowan. I knew you'd be here. Oh, yours oh, you're back, so how did it go? It's shameful I couldn't return with that girl. <laughs> Don't worry, we've we've all been we've just begun. We still have plenty of time to hunt her down. Oh yeah, that homonso fellow seems to have returned to his normal self, but joined the party. I couldn't see how far the girl delved into the man's soul, but she brought him back from the spirit's grave. The kid doesn't look like much, but he's actually quite a troublemaker. We need to get rid of him early on. Lord Bacon, you can't tell me you're afraid of that young boy. Well, I'm, most, I'm not entirely sure what to think. The trouble is that the soul of the seraphic radiance remains sealed deep within his being. Fortunately, he hasn't yet awoken to his new power, true power. Well, if he ever does, he'll be a fearsome enemy. The Seraphic Radiance? An ancient god summoned up by an old man in Shanghai, one of the guardian deities of this planet. No mere human should be able to bring the god into submission, and yet he managed to do it. So what power is it that protects him? So that's what I want to know. Yeah, hmm. Lord Bacon, she still hasn't given in yet, has she? She may die if you continue to torture her like this. I think you should warn the Inquisitors. You need Roy. She's not the sort of witch to succumb to this level of torture. If anything, she's the one with the upper hand. She's merely toying with the Inquisitors who wield whips. Dot, dot, dot. How about a nice cup of tea in the other room? Looks like uh, Bacon has himself a, a, a prisoner of some sort, but there's not much we can do about that, so... Alright. So, this is Rowan. Uh, for a small town, it looks very pleasant. Uh, I wonder if Margaret has arrived yet. Uh, well, let's try the inn. Good plan. Is there something wrong, Alice? Hmm. Oh, nothing. Hmm. Oh, that was weird. My husband is working like an honest man now, but I wonder how long it'll last. I don't know. But anyway, if we check over here, we get another wire ticket. All right. How about you? I haven't, I haven't seen you here in Rowan before. You on a trip? Yeah, I could be doing the French accents, but uh, uh, you're going, to, you're going to church. Wow, strong faith is a powerful asset. But my lad, Father Doyle, who took care of this church, was afflicted with the sickness of the heart. He shut himself inside and won't show himself to anyone. Even the church is closed up. Can't go inside the church. The door to the church is tightly locked from the inside. Can't go in there. Can we go this way? I don't want to go there. Uh, okay, calm down, Alice. Jeez. Alright, we'll go in the end. Right. Calm, calm yourself. Good evening. Uh, um, good evening and welcome. <laughs> Excuse me, but we're looking for a lady named Margaret. Is she staying here? Miss Margaret, please wait a moment. Yes, she is staying here. But she's gone uh, out for the moment. Haha, <laughs> so she beat us here. Okay, I guess we'll be staying here too. Some rooms, please. Absolutely, we have uh, had a lot of customers lately, so I, I can give you the deal. You seem to have a lady with you, so I'll prepare two rooms upstairs. Use them as you wish. Thank you. Oh, are you... Aren't you the young lady who stayed here with your father about half a year ago? Yes. I still remember that incident. Such a terrible incident. Oh, that poor priest, rest his soul. But at least you're safe, child. It's a blessing of God. Now go along and rest in your quarters. Ugh. When are you having a... Male protagonist syndrome where you can't sleep, you know, have to have uh, be insomniac. What the? Uh oh, we're back in the graveyard again. Well, now what? What does it say? Seal of Earth is carved here. It's not time to fight. Yeah, you can't really fight here, so. 
Civil water is carved here. No, oh, they don't have any descriptions now, so. All right, anyway. Yeah, I can fight these guys now if I want to, but I'm not going to. How about this door? The gate is tightly shielded. Sh shut tightly, yeah. That's where we were digging our own grave. All right, masked men. What, what do you got now? What more malice or silliness do you want to do? Hmm, tiss, tiss, tiss. Welcome back, lad. I see you chose to live again in hell. Oh, how foolish. You were on the verge of entering paradise where you would no longer experience pain or suffering. <laughs> well, I see you're still a bunch of blabbermouths. I couldn't care less what you say about me. Huh. <laughs> how strange to hear such lines from one who not so long ago was so eager to die. You should be thankful to that little girl. <laughs> That's right. Uh, for she has taken upon herself the burden of your karma. What do you mean? <laughs> to save your soul from the god of death, the one who wears the fox mask. This girl offered her soul to us. What'd you just say? Oh, when Alice reaches its peak, we'll come for that girl's soul and place the fox face. <laughs> There's no escaping from us. No matter where she runs, her life will eventually burn out, even if it's she's within your very arms. Damn you! I want you to let you la let you lay a finger on her, not on her butterfinger. Your curses are as worthless and phony as a three-dollar bill. You got that? Now apologize. What do you know what a three-dollar bill is like? Does that even exist? I know there's two-dollar bills, or there used to be two-dollar bills way, way long ago. <laughs> you wish to challenge us? How very interesting. No matter how hard you try to protect her, you will fail. All you can do is sit helplessly by and watch this precious life depart. Ugh. Now I'm pissed. You want some of me? I'll take you all on. Tiss, tiss, tiss. We'll be watching your vain attempts to drive off our spell. Enough. Shut up. Tiss, tiss, tiss. It is time for you to depart, lad. Your world awaits you. So, you know what they, they say about, like, um, they will take the place of Foxface? Well, that's what I was talking about earlier. When you hit Red Malice... That we will fight the masks now instead of fox face and they are pretty tough at this point in the game So yeah, it's better just to run away from them if you do encounter the fo uh, the masks and they each have a stat block Or each have their own stats and abilities So if you want to get red malice at some point and fight off the mask and get all of them for your bestiary. Oh boy um, and they, they talk about how Alice has taken over our um, Karma or malice or whatever. Well now malice can only be accrued with Alice in the party uh, Yuri does no longer does not longer um, uh, accrue malice. If you, if you take Alice out of the party, you cannot gain malice. So yeah, it's a bit of a twist. So Alice has kind of got ma main party status all of a sudden. What's wrong, Yuri? Did you have a nightmare or something? Uh, 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 no, uh, don't worry. I just had a bad dream. <laughs> the two guys are like, uh huh. Oh, phew! Finally, a moment to catch our breath. Now, being cooped up in a carriage for so long is hard on this old man. My rear end is sore as hell. I'll get out. Uh, what? Okay, whatever. Ellis is in the next room. I'm a little concerned about the change in her mood. Why is there a change in her mood? Well, I I guess I kind of already spoiled that already, but the, the mass story told us that anyway. But what can Yuri say to, to help her out? What about this Olga lady? Is she going to keep pestering us? And what about Margaret? Is she finally going to rejoin the party? Find out next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.